Hi, this is Digital Fam, and welcome to Overland, the YouTube channel that focuses on the OVR.ai platform and its community. So subscribe to this channel if you're curious or interested to know about platform developments, its community, the Overlands that they own, otherwise known as hexagons or hexes, and why in the world would you want to join OVR.ai? So in this video, I'm going to talk about a project that was recently unveiled by Google, or actually Clay Bavor, or Bavor, who's the Vice President of Augmented and Virtual Reality for Google. So I was on Twitter the other day, and obviously I'm following him. So he tweeted something about his Project Starline. So Project Starline has actually been years in the making, and he finally had rolled out, I suppose, a prototype or maybe a working model. Now let's take a look at that tweet. This is Project Starline, years in the making. It works like a magic window, bringing you together with friends, family, and coworkers, even when you're cities or countries apart. Now, when I first saw this tweet, I was super excited. It made me think of augmented reality in OVR.ai. But when I further investigated, that's not really the case. And let's find out why. So I went over to the website to find out more about this Project Starline. And you know what? I like the headliner. Project Starline, feel like you're there together. And I was like, oh, that's like the OVR live app where you log in, create your avatar, and then you can actually take a photo of yourself or a previously taken photo or selfie and put it on the avatar's like facial space. But then as I continued to read further, it wasn't exactly what I had thought. Now this video that you see here, it's just like I'm watching a video and not just any video, it's like Zoom, like a regular Zoom. Okay, so the only difference maybe apart from Zoom is that there are some 3D aspects to it. And it does say here in the post, um, let me scroll down. It says here that the key breakthroughs include 3D imaging, real-time compression, and a 3D display. Okay, so apparently it's also location centric. So what I mean by that is you actually have to be in this type of booth in order to experience the feel like you're there together scenario. And it even says here, Project Starline being used in one of our Google offices. Now let's take a look at some of the comments that people said on Twitter. It's quite funny. Now here's one from someone, Black Mirror vibes are through the roof with this one. And then he or she posted a skull and crossbones. I'm not sure if that's really a skull and crossbones. It could be a doggy footprint. I don't know. Another tweet reply is, understanding this is probably a prototype, how might this be rolled out at the consumer level? Preliminary cost? Yeah, good question. That booth looked like it had a pretty large footprint. I mean, much larger than those photo booths that you get in the mall where you go in with your friends and you draw the curtain and you just like take like five sets of photos. One person says, it looks so cool. I can't wait to try it one day. Yeah, buddy, that one day is probably never going to come. I mean, look, what happened to Google Glasses? Just saying. One Twitter person said, pretty cool, but don't prisons have these already? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. And then somebody replied to that and said, not sure you totally get it. You can get the prison experience right in your own home now because of COVID. Now this tweet caught my eye. So this is a mashup of Zoom and visiting relatives in jail. Yeah, it does look a lot like that, doesn't it? So one of the recommendations I have right off the top of my head, since it really looks like you're sitting at a booth at a cafe or restaurant, I sure hope it serves coffee. Just saying. Okay, so here are my closing thoughts. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Clay and the team for seeing this project to where it is today. Secondly, because Clay said that this project has been years in the making, sometimes when you're really focused on your passion and your head's down, it depends on the timeline. The future and technology does not wait. There are other people creating and developing innovations that most likely will surpass your project that you started many years ago. I'm pretty sure there'll be really good cases for Project Starline. Personally, for me, it fell short on the augmented reality experience that I was expecting. And that experience was when I first downloaded the OVR app and I logged in into one of the rooms with my avatar and I actually saw myself walking around in an art gallery experiencing digital art 
with other people from different parts of the world. So if you liked this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and do subscribe because there are more topics to cover under OVR.AI and augmented reality. Anyway, that's all for now. So wherever you are in this world, have a great day, have a great evening, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.